hairline. Um, a lot of people are saying yeah. the 36K tickets at Wembley isn't legit. Um, I think it is legit, even if it is scalpers and bots who bought them. The fact is they sold the fucking tickets. WWE inflates numbers. I don't really, to me, I'm like, whatever, good. I hope 50K show up because I want this, I want wrestling to be successful for more people. But with that being said, what do you make of the 36K? Do you think that's real? What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I don't know, man. Like, I get what you're saying as far as like with the scalpers and like the ticket master crap, because we got that going on here in America as well. So, like, it happens I all over the world, man. Scalpers buy the tickets to resell them. A lot of people are discrediting 36K and saying, yo, it's fucking resellers bought all the tickets up, and UFC does the same thing, and they, and they, uh, do this and that um so what what do you make of that like do you think that's the case or do you think no man like it's a novelty not i don't want to call it a novelty but it's like yo there hasn't been pro wrestling in this wembley like like i i could see them going to europe and shit man it, how often are they going to show up there everyone better show up now you know you might not see it again so i don't know do you think that's they bought up their tickets or is that just mark shit or do you think are you happy I for them just give me your thoughts on 36k at wembley man yeah, 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 I guess more or less, like, I feel like it's a little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like, obviously, there's marks out there and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, But I I don't know, man. Like, you got to clap for people. Like, say this is real. Like, good for Tony, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, speaking of that, um, and speaking of Tony, uh, he went ballistic on some ESPN reporters now before we get into that i just want to touch on uh tony khan tweets here's a tweet i open my twitter here's the first tweet i see tony khan he's the new tony khan says at tony khan says he's the new aew wrestling administration coordinator working in many areas of wrestling live events social media creative pr he has a great wrestling mind he's here backstage tonight at wednesday night dynamite live on tbs and it's official at william rbr is all elite will washington um yeah i follow him we follow him He's, I think he's like a dirt sheet guy. I don't want to just like blanket that on him. Congratulations to him. Actually, I think he just, yeah, he does the, I think he works for fightful.com though and does the Grap City podcast and a lot of people, uh, fightful's there, you know, so th- they want to be bitter towards this. But congrats to him, uh, from Phil to Will. Um, Hairline, what do you make of, I guess he's buying media is what the, the He's been say. buying media. He's, man, he bought up Dave Meltzer fucking years ago, bro. Go on. Uh, what that? Hold on, though. Despite any of that, congrats to this guy for like getting a better job and like providing for his family. Yeah, and that's doing awful. something that's probably his dream, man. It looks like he's just a straight up podcaster. I don't want to call him a dirt sheet guy. I don't know if he's out here breaking news, but I do see him on Twitter a lot. And uh, some people hate on him, some people don't. That's fucking oh. life, brother. Right. Regardless, congrats on your new job, bro. Good luck having to put up with Jericho. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. uh, Moving along now. So Tony Khan, he's going at um, this guy named Mike Coppinger uh, from, I believe, ESPN. And again, ESPN, they have a deep relationship with Endeavor, who they have a deep relationship with Nick Khan. And they... Yeah, man. Endeavor, UFC, Nick Khan, The Rock, Ariel Helwani, all these guys, they're all they're all friends. They've all been agents for each other. Nick Khan's represented tons of people in the past to where Tony Khan is basically like ESPN and anyone who works for like their shills, basically. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like Tony Khan is, I think, of that belief of like anyone, which is funny because it's like a yeah. lot of us are of the belief that anyone who works for like wrestling observers, a fucking shill for you, Tony. So welcome to the club, buddy. You know, quid pro quo. I easily believe that because to me whining about it, it's just like, it's absurd that like Tony would say any of that. Cause like fucking he calls any negative feedback a bot and it's all like, no, Tony, just because someone isn't enjoying your product doesn't mean they're a fucking bot. Continue. Reinforcing what you just said. And he works for ESPN, I believe. And he tweets out at Mike Coppinger says hearing Wembley is scaled for only 40 K for AEW. 
far cry from last April when I was ringside for Tyson Fury, Dillian White, and it was packed to the brim with 94,000. Nothing beats the big fight feel at Wembley. So before I get into Tony Khan's response, I mean, that's just right there, that tweet right there. You cannot compare Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. And we're talking about Tyson Fury, the biggest name in combat sports, probably, who right. who um, is from that part of the world. You know what I mean? You can't really you can't even really compare that. So that's just goofy in and of itself right there. So I'll oh. defend Tony Khan on that. But he went so fucking nuclear that it's like, God damn, bro, you could have just. Tony could have just retweeted it with like a LOL face and it would have been fucking funnier. I think he just went so hard that now everyone's all the marks are like, could you see Vince McMahon doing this? And could you see, you know, like, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just saying like, he's catching flack, but really he should defend himself in this instance. Cause this is just like a, such a weird thing to say hearing Wembley is scaled for only 40 K for a W even if it is 40 K at Wembley, bro. Like that's awesome. But, and then just to compare it to that fight, I think is foolishness. So like, if I owned the company, like I'm just trying to be object, I would be like, yeah, like, he, like I'd be like, yeah, fuck you. Like I'd either not answer. Or I'd just like, LOL at that, but he went off. No, yeah. Um, get to the Twitter. So I'm going to get to his tweet. So he says, so Tony Khan responds at Tony Khan responds lies in all caps. What a load of, (laughs) (laughs) what a load of crap. Tell your agent, Nick Khan to shove it up his ass. Oh, he's coming, bro. He's coming. So then that was, that was, um, Sorry, you go ahead. Give me your thoughts on that first tweet, and then we'll get into a follow-up tweet Tony Khan sent, un- unprovoked. He Just 20 minutes later, he tweeted again to the same guy, responding to the same guy. Give me your thoughts on that first tweet. Man, how am I supposed to do that when you just hit me with that, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I okay, so like, man, like if, okay, if I'm the king, I'm not paying attention to what the peasants are doing. You know what I'm saying? Tony shining a light on this guy shows you that he is, you know, his opinion is valid, you know? Yeah. It just validates him sort of. And then it just, um, it just sheds light on something that it's almost like if it does, if it's not true, it wouldn't bother you this much. Exactly, man. I can't believe Tony didn't call him a bot. And the thing is, (laughs) and the thing is, is it's like, Tony, uh, I I respect the guy and I appreciate him, you know, but the whole thing is that like, he doesn't, so I don't know, man, like, okay, so you can like, it just seems like anytime any of these like more prominent figures and I guess sports or reporting or ESPN, whenever someone says some shit about him, he goes nuclear on them when, when you're yeah. but, like, people are saying, great things about him and he's got nothing bad to say obviously and that's how it sort of is in life but i mean i don't think to this extent man i think that they i don't know how what do you get what i'm trying to say like it's almost like if you don't say what he wants you to say he's gonna get really upset at you or and like and then if he's still like not hearing what he wants he'll just dodge your question completely bro you know what i'm saying right and the and right so Let's just move on to his next tweet. 20 minutes later, Tony responds, I believe. I don't want to talk out of my ass, but it looks like he's just responding to the same tweet 20 minutes later. Do you understand (laughs) what I'm saying? So, like, this shit is on his mind. Like, he's... He's like Sean Ross (laughs) said. Okay. Okay, man. Um, Birds of a feather. Um, (laughs) So, Tony Khan, at Tony Khan says 20 minutes later, give or take. He says, or 15 minutes later, whatever. He says, since you carry the creden- the credentials of a credible reporter, plus represent the worldwide leader of, of sports reporting, is what he means to say there. So since you carry the credentials of a credible reporter, plus represent the worldwide leader, I'm just curious, who was your source for this? And how can a reporter representing ESPN tweet something about a legit news story 
that's so blatantly long and easily verified as a falsehood. Well, Tony Khan, welcome to the fucking media in 2023, bro. Like, hey, what the hey, fuck? Hey. Or, hey, he, it's funny how he goes. He, go, he, he, he goes at these these people on Twitter and he goes, hey, I've been in the forums using the Internet since blah, 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 blah. Brother, you mean it? So you don't know that all the media is just garbage still paid for fucking you know what i mean fox is over here just shilling this shit and then cnn's over here shilling this shit and then twitter promotes this shit and buries this shit and youtube like you so you you're so well versed but you don't understand that about the fucking world bro you're a billionaire come on you know that dude you know money makes the world go round and it's up to you to fucking not let it not to shine light on it like this and just laugh at shit like this. That's what I think. But I'm not going to tell anyone, especially a goddamn billionaire, how to do business. Um, well, he needs to hear it. Whether or not he got his billions on his own or because his dad, like, invented the muffler for the car or something crazy like that. He, like, he invented bumpers. Am I not wrong about that? Like, I'm, Google honestly, that I'm shit. Not, my, my problem with Tony Khan isn't that he's a golden... Or he was that he was born born with a golden spoon in his mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Shane McMahon's the same exact thing. My problem is that he's a mark and he has no idea how to properly book wrestling. This you know guy, saying? uh, this guy tweets out here. He says, uh, "Tony Khan, the only businessman in history to prioritize talking about the CEO of WWE before talking about thirty six thousand ticket sales," and it shows that. <laughs> Tony responded. <laughs> Tony responded to that Coppinger guy at eight forty-five p.m. and then tweeted about the all-in pre-sale thirty-six thousand sold at nine o four p.m. So <laughs> it just does show you his priorities. Like he's the one pushing this war more than anyone else. Yeah, I'm I sure. I truly does believe Triple that. Does Triple H even think about him? I bet he does like in like a I bet it rubs Triple H the wrong way that when um NXT and Dynamite went head to head that he did lose. Oh for sure. Yeah, and, no, he's that. And then sure. some of those some of his NXT guys went to AEW at like Yeah, baby. So, yeah, so it it definitely I bet you it is on his mind a bit, but I think now that he's like on his main roster shit and even though Vince is controlling it, like obviously Triple H is doing the day to day, personable, feet on the ground work. And so I think he thinks about it probably less. And I think he looks at it as more of a joke than ever before. And I think, like and, and not to like be like, oh, fuck AEW, but I just think if I put myself in Triple H, he's probably, he probably is like, that shit's a joke. You know, that's all I got to say. Yeah. But it's no joke 36,000 to 40,000 fucking tickets. That's no fucking joke. I applaud congrats. you, Tony Khan and AEW. Yeah, um, I congrats Excalibur and Taz. <laughs> you would. Yeah. Oh, you're such a mark. Okay, so uh, 